a coalition of civil society groups are driving efforts to strengthen Nigeria's democracy by addressing critical gaps in the political process. These groups stress the need for more inclusion of young people, women, people living with disabilities, and a more people-centered approach in the country's governance. There is still a long way to go. There is still a lot to do to be able to get citizens to get their expectations met. Uh, we have seen the National Assembly uh, build itself into a strong institution. Yes, we do have criticisms of the National Assembly, but we have seen the National Assembly emerge as a strong institution in support of democracy in the country. We have seen our people able to elect members into the National Assembly. Of course, our elections still have their challenges, but the fact that we still have the opportunity to conduct elections in this country and make demands on the election management body, on all of the stakeholders of election to continue to improve our democracy I think is a major landmark for all of us. They appreciated the funders while stating that the funding had a far-reaching impact in the country and has been instrumental in carrying out more voter education as well as introducing technology to the electoral process. In the 25 years of Nigeria's fourth republic, uh, there has been huge gains, but there has also been huge challenges as well. And uh, part of discussing is to see, is to see how going forward we, we can tackle those challenges and, um, and uh, take our democracy to, to greater heights. Civil society leaders urge their peers to view government as partners, not opposition, as a collective effort is essential for strengthening trust in the electoral body. Sumi Madwagu, Arise News.